We're now joined by Damilari. Thank you, Damilari. You were saying earlier on, please go on. Um, I'm saying um, the question was quite a bit open-ended. Um, when you say my experience, because I might have to take a bit of time to explain my experience. So I think well, I would like to let's, let's take it like from the point where you where you had to go get yourself tested and when your result came out and what happened afterwards. Um, so I was tested. I was feeling some type of way on Saturday, the 9th of May, 2020. Um, a bit of high temperature and a bit of fever. Um, and uh, as I slept over that night, I woke up on Sunday morning and I was still feeling the same way. I really couldn't sleep all night. And I chose to go to the hospital, precisely Garaki Hospital here in Abuja, to run my regular malaria and uh, without test. Um, I'm doing the test, and when the results came out that same day, they told me I didn't have a malaria parasite. Neither, neither did I have typhoid. I was a bit worried because I've never seen where a Nigerian goes to do a malaria test and doesn't have at least some epitome of, or bit of malaria parasite. Um, that got me worried, and based on that, <clears throat> excuse me, I was I chose to go and do the um, COVID nineteen test. Um, so I called, I went online, called, searched for the NCD's number, and then from there I called the NCD. I was directed to the FCT collection center. I called the collection center, and I was told to call back again on night of on um, the Monday morning by nine a.m., which I did, and I was able to fix an appointment with the collection center to do the test. So I was booked for 11 a.m. to do the test. I went there, did the test, um, and then by Tuesday, after doing the test, um, my temperature was down. I stopped having fever, but I realized that I lost my sense of taste. Uh, my sense of smell, rather, at the beginning on Tuesday, and then by Thursday, I lost my sense of taste completely. I was so worried, because as a Thursday, I hadn't gotten my results. Um, I realized that this, um, I was called on Thursday, but I didn't pick because it was a different number that I used to connect the collection center. And I was called again by Friday, but I didn't pick because I didn't know the number. Finally, they got through to me on Sunday. Um, and that is the public health unit of the FCT. Um, they got through to me on Sunday and told me around past three that I was positive to the test I did. <laughs> well, I, mean, I was a bit worried. I spoke to a couple of people around me who advised me that please um, go to the isolation center. I wasn't, I was very skeptical. I wanted to self-medicate. I wanted to just stay at home and, you know, do whatever I can do just to stay, I mean, better. I just want to go to the isolation center, you know. Um, the lady who spoke to me, Fatima Ahmed, as she, as she introduced herself to me, um, told me that she was going to take me to the Asokura isolation center initially. Um, and suddenly she said, okay, she'll take me to the, Gwagalada Isolation Center, all on our choice, you know. And then I was like, oh, no problem. The Lord will do whatever he's going to do. I, I would go anywhere. On Monday morning, that was the 18th of May, the, the, the public health team of the FCT came to my house to pick me up and took me to Gwagalada Isolation Center, um, where, I, where I was there for about eight days um, until I, my, I was tested and my result came out negative. Oh, I don't, um, well, quickly and lastly, in, in, in all of this, um, there were other people you, you could have met in the course of your going for treatment, being in isolation. How, how would you describe this, this situation in your isolation in, in the light of other people who were also there with you quickly? Oh, so right. In the light of other people who were there with me, a lot of people there um, were a bit down and um, psychologically, psychologically um, unable to withstand the fact that they have it somewhat strong enough to accept it. But a lot of people were just in their various rooms because we were all in private um, rooms. Um, and then where, where we were being taken care of, we were being fed morning, afternoon, night. We were being given proper, um, giving medications to boost our immune can you, system. Can you tell us what we're kind being, of medication you were, you were placed under? Um, well, to be very sincere, I try not to speak on this medication, not to cause panic for the people and the public. Um, so people don't abuse medication. Um, but however, I have a video where, where I put on YouTube, which um, stated a lot of uh, my life and times at the center. Um, but if to very more specific about the kind of drugs I was given, you know, vitamin C, zinc, um, hydroxychloroquine, um, a drug called aluvia. I mean, not to mention them to make people scared, but based on your question, 
these are the kind of drugs we're giving to use. All right, Damon Larry, it's been a pleasure having you join us and sharing your story. And good to know you're safe now. Please do take care and do stay safe. All right, thank you very much.